Hey everyone, welcome back to Talk Time with Jay Allen Photography. I really do appreciate you guys coming back, taking a listen. Uh, this is episode 11, and I'm going to be talking about three hacks that you can do to stave off boredom, burnout, or creative lulls. The really stupid thing about this episode already is I went through and did the whole episode, recorded the whole audio version of it, but because I'm also doing this on YouTube, I wanted the video portion and I never once hit record on the camera. So here I am doing the whole thing again, but hey, that's life, right? So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing, doing this the second time through. So I knew this was going to happen sooner or later and probably sooner rather than later. This whole episode, I was trying to figure out what I wanted the topic to be like. I just couldn't figure out where I wanted to go with this episode and, you know, I kind of had an idea for those first 10 episodes, but this this next one, I'm like, ah, man, I got to get over that hump of 10, right? So I'm on episode 11. What do I need to talk about? So I just figured, hey, let's talk about that. You know, what's the, you know, creator's block, right? You know, and so not necessarily boredom and burnout on that, but I just couldn't figure out where I wanted to go. And, you know, I was trying to think, okay, how can I, how can I start to work that? And so let's make that the topic how do you avoid boredom burnout and those creative lulls or that creative block and i think it's real i think it's very real for photographers uh you definitely need to be aware and pay attention that this thing happens and you know how can you avoid it how can you deal with it how can you embrace it and move forward with it knowing that it's going to be there and you know these three things i think they're all good ideas they're things that i do uh to kind of help keep it away the last one is probably my favorite thing to do personally but it's also probably the hardest thing to do uh, and i don't know why that is it's just the way that it is but let's talk about three hacks to keep away from boredom burnout or that creative low uh, the first one is we do you know kind of once you get into your into your role right you're you're doing your work you're I'm a senior photographer it's the same thing all the time a family photographer you know you're just working with families all the time and it can kind of get boring sometimes if I'm being honest not necessarily in a bad way but it's the same thing you know there's only so many ways you can toss that cap right for a senior photo shoot toss it up toss it to me smile when you're doing it give me a sassy look <laughs> you know that type of thing there's only so many ways that you can change it so how do you actually change it well you change it up shoot something different so shoot something out of shoot something out of the norm Maybe you're a family photographer and you deal with multiple people all the time in a shoot. Well, do something where you're just working with one person. I guarantee you posing one person is so much different than posing five people. In my opinion, that's way easier. That's why I shoot with one rather than five. Uh, if you work with strictly one person, maybe do family sessions or something like that. But change it up. Get out of the norm and do something a little bit different. I do three different types of photography within the portrait realm, right? So I work primarily with high school students. I work with dancers and I work with models. And those three avenues kind of help me break it up and help me keep it fun and interesting. When I feel like I've been working with a lot of the high school students, you know, consistently, I, I get, I try to schedule some dance sessions in there and get some of that creative juice flowing because it's so much different you know standing there posing with a smile as opposed to doing this leap you know with you know motion and all of this kind of stuff dance in its own world is very artistic um very interesting to me and so shooting with dancers really allows me to kind of break up that pace change that pace a little bit to where I can stave off some of that boredom of shooting the same thing over and over again. And the same thing with working with models. They allow me to be a little bit more creative than working with dancers or I wouldn't say dancers, but working with my, um, high school students. 
you know, it's just different. And so, you know, changing pace a little bit. Now, maybe those aren't your things, right? Maybe I don't want to shoot dance or I don't want to shoot with models or I don't want to shoot with high school kids. Change it up. Shoot nature, shoot macro, shoot landscape, astro, whatever it is, try to do something different. Maybe you want to incorporate more video. Try to do more video work. But change it up. Make it a little bit different than what you typically do. You really want to get out of your comfort zone, I think, to, to stave off some of that boredom. You know, doing the same thing over and over again, it can lead to that boredom. And so you really need to change things up. And I think... Also, doing those same things over and over again can kind of lead you to maybe not a creator's block, but a creator's a creative stunt, right? So you can't grow past what you're doing because you're not doing anything different. So changing it up, stepping out of your normal, stepping out of your comfort zone can be exciting, can be eye-opening. For me, dance again was eye-opening. I never thought I would be shooting dance photos or dancers but I was trying to look for something a little bit different and I saw that when I was kind of learning lighting and I thought, let me try it. And man, from that first shutter click, I was absolutely hooked. Uh, it just was unbelievable to me. So that is kind of uh, has allowed me to stay fresh, you know, having dance sessions mixed with high school sessions mixed with model sessions. So Hack one is change it up, do something different. Um, and, you know, looking for other ways to do that. That's kind of hack number two. And that's where I kind of was like, all right, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? And so I was looking all over YouTube. And, and that's really a lot where I found a lot of my inspiration. But I wouldn't say it was all just from photographer YouTubers you know, it was some that were visual storytellers, uh, some that just did like computer work and stuff like that. But I think you can find inspiration in a lot of different places. It doesn't just have to be photographers. It doesn't have to be on YouTube either. It can be Instagram, any other social medias like TikTok and stuff like that. But look around for something that can inspire you. Just don't fall in the comparison um, hole, rabbit hole, right? Because what you can do is you can start looking at these and say you see a lot of YouTubers and you're like, oh man, I, I can't be as good as them. Well, that That's not where you want to go. You need to stay away from that. But you're looking at these people and trying to figure out how they're doing these things or, or just trying to figure out, man, what they're doing is so interesting and so neat. So you're looking for inspiration in what others are creating. And again, it does not have to be just photography. Uh, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts and I think sometimes that can just be inspiring on its own because it's out there, it's different. Um, but look for different things that can basically put your mind at a different state, a different place, and it'll allow your mind to grow a little bit from what you're doing day to day. Uh you know, I, I, I looked at a, a lot of YouTube, but then I also saw a lot on Instagram and stuff like that. It just really helps expand your mind. I think it can. You know, sounds like the Matrix there. But you can tell I'm from the 90s, 80s and 90s, right? But you need to get your brain different. You need to be able to get your brain inspired to create. If you're doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something different, it might not happen. So you need to feel inspired at times. Maybe what you do is you look at other photographers' photos and you think, okay, how did they create that and how can I create it? Maybe how can I try to do it better? Maybe you're looking at a photo and you're seeing, okay, it looks like they've got three light sources here. Where did they, how did they, you know, why did they? And then you try to go and create that yourself. But you're looking for inspiration. And I think when you have that inspiration, it will help get those creative juices going for you. 
figure out what they did, how they did it, and then you go and try to do that on your own. Um, I think that's extremely important, and that's hack number two to staving off that boredom, that burnout, and that creator's block. Hack number three, this one is probably, like I said at the beginning, my favorite, but also the hardest for me. And I don't know why this is. I absolutely love going to the beach. I love vacation. I love riding my bike for exercise. I have a road bicycle. And, you know, a couple years ago, I did like 3,000 miles in the year. And I thought that was fantastic. And I haven't been anywhere close since. Uh... Why is it so difficult for us to take a break? You know, and, and I feel like I love what I do so much. I don't feel like I need to take a break, but I do. I, there are plenty of weeks that have gone by that I have done something photo related every day, whether it's shoots, edits, video edits, podcast edits, whatever it is. And I'm not taking time for myself. Uh, we went on vacation. We went on our cruise, our very first cruise at the beginning of this year. And it was absolutely incredible. It was so much better than I thought that it would be. I, I guess I had preconceived notions on a cruise, but so much better than I thought. I was able to unplug, relax, recharge. But man, by like day five, I'm like, ah, I want to get back and I want to start shooting again. And, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe my recharge was was ready and or was good and it was ready for me to go but take that time man just take the time and recharge uh, i think it really helps with that mental state it will help your inspiration it'll help your creativity but you need to take a break uh you know my wife tells me all the time you need to take one day off a week at least one day off a week and i I struggle with that because I'm like, if I'm sitting here watching TV at night, why am I not going to sit there and watch, but I can edit photos at the same time or I can edit my video or whatever it is, but you're not, you're not letting your brain relax. You're not letting your brain take a break. And that's where you really need to do is take a break. Uh, exercise. This should be um, without explanation, but you need to exercise and I'm horrible at it. Uh, I absolutely love riding my bike. It's a way for me to just break and zone out sometimes for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes or so and just ride. But for whatever reason, I just don't do it like I should. And I need to just get out there and get on the bike. Uh, you know, I, I do say sometimes I zone out, but I think it's also a way sometimes for me to get out there. And I have basically an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half to think about new things or think about other things. And so sometimes it's even photography related. Sometimes it, it will allow me to think of creative ideas or, you know, um, just get inspired by certain things. But exercise is a way to keep your body physically healthy. And of course, again, this shouldn't need an explanation, but we've got to be physically fit and capable just as mentally fit and capable to do what we do and do it at a high level. You know, if you're just physically dragging, if you're mentally dragging, it's going to be easier for those mental blocks, those creative blocks, that burnout and that boredom to seep in. You know, when you're at the top of your game physically and mentally, it's going to be more difficult. And so that's why you need to make time for yourself. Get that vacation in, get the exercise in. Uh, just an update, I am losing a little bit of weight. Go back to that uh, goals for the year. I was trying to drop some weight for the year. So I think I'm down about seven pounds, which, uh, you know, I, I would love to go like another 17, but that's good. You know, for here in March, I've lost like seven pounds. That's good. Um, so take the time, make the time for yourself. Vacation, take a day off, exercise. Those are all good ways to get that boredom, that burnout, that creative block and put it, put it to the back. You know, it'll, it'll keep you out in front of that. It'll make you be able to be, or it'll allow you to be able to be a little bit more proactive on fighting that. Uh, so once again, those are the three hacks, three hacks from me uh, to stave off boredom, burnout, and creative blocks. 
and they are again changing things up do something a little bit different um, it'll kind of keep you fresh give you new ideas maybe open new doors uh, look at others for creative inspiration creative uh, ideas you know you it can be pretty much anywhere uh, social media is all over the place so that's why I typically push that one to the forefront but look at others creative work to get inspired that that's that's really the important part you know sometimes seeing your own stuff over and over again is going to kind of feel um you know a circle right and so when you can step out of that and look at others for what they're doing and how do they create it i think that's a great way to be inspired and lastly again make time for yourself go on that vacation take that day off get that exercise in so that you can be mentally and physically fit and able to do what you need to do i've got people doing lawn work outside so it's going to be in the channel or it's going to be in the podcast hey so real quick thank you so much for listening i really do appreciate it uh this is the episode 11 but what i wanted to say is i'm going to be trying to figure out how to do a giveaway on my channel my youtube channel it's almost at 10,000 subscribers i should be there by dude i should be there by the end of april and i just wanted to say thank you to everybody with a little giveaway it's not going to be anything fantastical but just wanted to say thank you so much for following subscribing and maybe getting inspiration from me so thank you again and until next time keep shooting